Okay everyone, we're on a distance run for the Mavic Pro. Um, I had a little hiccup at the beginning of the recording, um, so I've started it again. Um, as you can see, we're at 1600 metres in distance now. Um, we're travelling at 43 kilometres an hour um, in a constant rate, and our altitude is 54.6 metres in altitude. So it's, it's gradually going up, that's the way I set it for the flight. It's going to gradually go all the way up to uh, 85 metres. Um, yeah, the reason um, we're starting from a little bit into the flight was Litchi seemed to have a problem and it kind of closed down. Um, so I've gone back into it, it loaded up straight away, but for some odd reason it had a little glitch there. I did receive a phone call just before, so I don't know if that kind of confused it a little bit and and that's uh, what happened, but we seem to be going good. We're at 85% battery, um, so we've used 15% and we've gone nearly two and a half kilometers, which is good. Um, we're still in a ascent rate, so we, we are still gradually going up in uh, in altitude on the way home we will gradually be going down there is a little bit of a tailwind um, coming home that is so hopefully we won't use as much battery on the way home uh, at 2700 meters in distance now I've done this in Litchi because it's it's a lot easier to to do a distance run in Litchi because you can kind of map out your route, which in this case was straight ahead from this location, and I can set a constant speed uh, that the drone will fly at, so I don't have to keep my um, right thumb uh, pushed against the joystick, and I don't have to keep an eye on my speed. I know that I'm going at a constant rate. So as we approach halfway to the destination, it looks like we are going to use about 25% battery. Um, what I'm hoping is that we can get there uh, at 58%, which will give us enough to come home with so just one more percent so we're at 3800 now and 75 percent battery I haven't got the sport mode toggle switched if I did um, if there was any problem with a flight I could switch it um, and that would stop this mission uh, and I can control it manually then I could uh, I could return home I'm a bit curious to see what uh, Litchi is going to say when it hits the return home point uh, on the red line the red and green line I know that I need to go beyond what it thinks I need to use to get home but uh, hopefully it's not going to interfere with the flight too much. I do apologise for the picture. The the weather today is quite hazy, so at this altitude it's uh, it looks a little bit uh, desatch or de uh, decontrasted. It's uh, a bit of a dull image, but we're not here for the image. We're here to to make sure that the Mavic can live up to its expectations. In the US, uh, it states in FCC mode that it can go seven kilometers, but I'm not in the US, um, and this will be running in CE mode, which is supposed to um, only give enough power on the remote controller to give you four kilometers. So if you watch my other video, you can see we went six kilometers um, with three bars of reception and three bars video. Um, but hopefully on this one, we can do a bit more. So we've hit 5,000 now, which is five kilometers. Another two to go. 
So I'm interested to see what happens now. Don't want to go home now. So let's just see if it will continue. So it's completely cancelled the mission there. Um, which is a little bit annoying. But nonetheless, I'll, uh, I'll manually do the rest of the trip. Zoom in and see where we're we're facing. Just want to correct that a little bit. So at 56% is the point where I will need to to come home. That will mean I've used 44% in battery. If you say another 44% to come home, that means I'll have 12% on landing, in theory. So as you can see now, we're at 60% battery and 6,250 kilometers, uh, meters, sorry. So we're nearly at our goal. Six nine. And there we are at seven. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn the craft. Start making our way back. So I've just got rid of the waypoint mission there. And the green line is our return to home line. So what I'm going to try and do is keep it around 40 kilometers an hour that way we should just have enough I reckon um, it's going to start auto landing um, as it gets very close to me so as long as I keep the right stick um, held up it will stay at the altitude that it's currently at uh, as I get closer to home, I will lower the altitude a bit. As we've, as the waypoint mission uh, stopped when it wanted to return home, I've now had to manually take control. So I'm, I've got my right thumb on the on the joystick now. So trying to keep a steady speed um, of around 40 to 41. What we want uh, is we want our meters our distance our 6,000 meters to come more in line with our battery percentage so uh, we want at 40% I'm hoping to have more uh, or less of a gap so 
say 5,500 meters at 40 percent that way we're catching up um, with the battery which just gives a bit more confidence that we'll, uh, we'll make it home as you can see the, the flight path that we've taken here is over farmland so there are various places to land if we if we had to um, but hopefully we won't need to do that just going to lower the altitude a tiny little bit and we're hoping that that tailwind helps us as well as you can see not very much to see The bar at the top of the screen is showing us uh, estimated flight time remaining, so it reckons we have seven minutes left in the air. If you slow down, it says it you know it increases, but obviously your time in the air will increase because you're going at a slower speed. So I just kind of want to keep it at about 42. I think that's a sweet spot. We've got our little bit of tailwind helping us. What we want to see is that red bar come come lower as well, more in line of where it says the time 6:41. That means that uh, it's got a bit more confidence that it will make it back. I didn't keep an eye on what the uh, signal strength indicator at the top of the screen said when we hit the 7,000 mark, but. Uh, I had no dropouts at all in this video feed, it's been 100% the whole way, so I'm very impressed with uh, with this this drone and this OcuSync system that DJI are using. Um, it must be kind of the best for consumers. I can't think of any other drone that has a, a better performance for the, uh, for the money. Um, we're at 35% battery now, so we've got say 25% remaining before it starts to auto land. We we've caught up a little bit with the the battery percentage, so um, with any luck by 30%, we're going to be near 3,000 meters. I'll just lower the altitude a little bit more again. Will I make it? That is the question. Going to lower it down to about 70 meters in height. Okay, so we're at 30% battery now, and we're at 3,100. So we are catching up with that timer. We just need to catch up with it a little bit more. So obviously we've got 30% battery and and three kilometers to go so we uh, we want to be a bit closer than that it's estimating we've got four minutes flight time remaining just have to keep an eye on my speed because I've slowed down a little bit there so I need to just get it back up to the 40s So our kilometre range, we're at 2.5 kilometres and 26%, so we've gone ahead of the battery now, which is good. What would be ideal is if we was at, you know, 2, two kilometres and say 24%. I'm kind of doing the rough math in my head to 
to make sure that we're going to get home. I'm going to stay positive though. If we're at 1500 by 20%, I'm confident we're going to be fine. Just going to lower the altitude a little bit more again for us. So, just keeping a keen eye on the uh, on the battery percentage there in the top right hand side. We've just hit 21. Anything below 15 is good. Okay, we're at 20 now. Looks very positive. Just going to adjust the altitude again. Just bring it down a bit more. Okay, looks very good. So we're one kilometre out now, 18% battery remaining. Ease on the power again. Bring that altitude down. Not use sport mode at all in this flight. We've now got the annoying. low battery warning so we're at 400 14 percent thirteen percent two hundred at twelve percent. One hundred at twelve percent, and there we go. We're back. So I'm just going to end the video there and uh, and pick it up. Thank you for watching, everyone.